welcome and welcome to this video introducing HFSS in the student version of the ANSYS Electronics Desktop or AEDT for short. And in our videos, we have presented a simple air-filled rectangular waveguide, a dielectrically stacked rectangular waveguide, and in this video, we'll add a little twist to that rectangular waveguide and a bent rectangular waveguide. And waveguides in themselves, they're used to guide the fields inside and the twists and the bends should be implemented gradually. Otherwise, the fields can be distorted and therefore you're actually distorting your intended signal. And twists are primarily used to change the polarity of the signal, whereas bends can be used to help fit the physical waveguide to a smaller physical space. So let's get started. So here's the interface of the tool with the HFSS design for the WR15 waveguide. And this is the waveguide cavity already created using variables as dimensions. And I'll use this model again for creating the bend and the twist. I've renamed the project and check that the unit type is also in millimeters. So let's go ahead and design and analyze this twisted geometry. If you haven't, copy and paste design and rename it. Delete the output port of the waveguide cavity and switch to the face selection mode by pressing the F key on the keyboard. Remember, there's always more than one way of doing things in AEDT. You could also, with the draw panel open, you can also switch to face selection by using the drop down menu on the select panel. Select the face along the positive X axis, right mouse click, select edit, surface, create object from face, and notice you have a 2D object is created under the sheets category. Edit the name of that object, call it something. Now select and draw a line. The draw line command place the first coordinate on the face center of that sheet and then the other coordinate anywhere else in the 3D modeler window. And notice that one polyline is created under the lines category. Double mouse click on that create line command, edit the coordinates of that line segment, enter the values as shown, and it's good practice to use variables wherever possible for a more robust design. After editing, click OK to accept the changes, and with the sheet and the polyline selected, right mouse click in the 3D modeler window, select edit, then sweep along a path. A new window pops up and in the cell next to the angle of the twist, enter minus 90 and keep the rest as defaults, click OK. And notice the twisted geometry is created in the 3D modeler window, voila! And observe the rotation of the face of the waveguide cavity. Also notice that the sheet object is modified to a solid type in the model tree window. And select the face along the positive x-axis, right mouse click, select edit surface sweep face along the normal, and in the pop-up window, enter the dimension test zone. Click OK to accept, rename the newly created object. Unite all the objects to create a single object. I proceed to create the waveport excitation on the face along the x-axis. And this concludes the geometry creation required for the waveguide twist analysis. Creation of the ports and the analysis is the same as the rectangular waveguide, so go through our previous simulation setup for the straight run waveguide and apply to this module. And check the validation tool before proceeding, just in case we have some errors. And once the analysis is done, we can view the results. Here is the phase constant plot for port input with the markers, denoting the cutoff frequency and for of the different modes. Here's the phase constant plot for the port output and the markers, again, denoting the cutoff frequencies of the different modes. And here's the plot of the electric field inside the whole geometry. Here's the animation of this plot. Waveguide bends are also of two types, E bends and H bends. Okay, let's proceed with an H bend geometry creation. Copy and paste this HFSS design to WR15 and rename it. 
I've renamed this project as waveguide underscore bend. And delete the input port of the waveguide cavity and we'll use a relative local coordinate system to create the bend geometry and the sweep option. So let's proceed to the geometry creation and select the face along the negative x-axis, right mouse click, select edit, then surface, and then create object from face. And with the draw tab open, select the offset origin option and click anywhere along the y-axis in the 3D modeler window. Navigate to the relative coordinate system in the model tree, double click on it to edit, and change the name of this coordinate system and change the origin position as shown. Let's go ahead and use a variable for the radius of the bend. Input a dimension in the window and click OK to proceed. Edit that name of that 2D object in the model tree window. And with the 2D object selected, right mouse click on the modeler window. Select edit sweep around an axis and for the sweep axis option select the z-axis for the angle of sweep input minus 90 degrees and keep the rest as default and now you can see the bend for the waveguide is created and the 3D modeler window and notice that the relative coordinate system is selected as the reference and select the face of that bent geometry along the y-axis and right mouse click select edit surface and sweep faces along a normal in that pop-up window enter the dimension as shown and click ok to accept and rename the newly created object now unite all the objects to create a single geometry i proceed to create the waveport excitation on the face along the positive y-axis now we're all set to proceed with the analysis and check the validation tool before proceeding, just in case we have some errors. And once the analysis is done, we can view the results. So here's the phase constant plot for the port input with the markers denoting the cutoff frequencies of the different modes. And here's the phase constant plot for the port output with the markers again denoting the cutoff frequencies of the different modes. So here's the plot of the electric field inside the whole geometry, and here's the animation of this plot. And this is the beauty of the electromagnetic simulation. You can visualize how the fields are guided through any complex geometries very easily. Thank you for watching this video as we create a model geometry for a twisted waveguide and a bent rectangular waveguide. View the simulation results and view the field patterns. Visit courses.ansys.com and watch our video modules on all of the ANSYS simulation tools as well as related topics.